Today marks a decade since a shooting rocked a Montreal neighborhood. 18-year-old Freddy Villanueva was shot and killed by a police officer in the borough of Montreal North. The investigation led to no charges for the officers involved and street riots broke out. In, there was rioting and there was looting. Will Prosper is a community activist. He co-founded the group Montreal North Republic following that shooting a decade ago. He joins us from Montreal this morning. Good to have you with us. Hey, good morning. You know, I can't believe it's been 10 years. I remember seeing those pictures coming out of Montreal and, you know, at the time being surprised at how much anger was there and how much frustration was there. You've had a decade of experience on the activist side. You were also a former RCMP officer. And just to give the rest of Canada a sense of the neighborhood that you're working in, uh, it has, Montreal North has about 22% of its population is black, 9.5% are Arab, another 65 are Latin American. How does a community like this, a diverse one like this, start to rebuild its relationship with police? Well, it's a long process. It's something that started 10 years ago. And when we had the riots 10 years ago, nobody was really surprised about it because the uh, number of people being controlled by the police was so high in this neighborhood. We were just expecting, well, when was it going to happen? Mm -hmm. And now when you take a look 10 years afterward, you know, uh, we all thought that at the beginning it was going to be a sprint that we're going to change the condition of the neighborhood because this is one of the poorest riding in all of Canada. And this is one of the riding also that we face lots of racial profiling. And we have a lots of dropping out from school. We also have a lots of unemployment. And if you take a look 10 years ago, you know, we've seen some progress, but not that far enough. You know, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon, actually. In June, the Montreal North Council announced that they were going to revamp the park near where Freddie was shot, but they wouldn't be installing any kind of memorial or even any mention of Freddie. C city officials have already said that the idea of memorializing Freddie is, quote, very polarizing, very sensitive here in Montreal North, and moving forward would create more conflict than agreement. What do you think? Well, we really differ from uh, what the administration has mentioned because for us, you know, there's no controversy with the death of Freddy Villanueva. Even for the police, you know, their first mandate, it's to protect the life of all citizens. So in that respect, you know, I think everybody uh, agrees with the fact that Freddy Villanueva should have been alive today. And that's what we're mentioning. And if you take a look of what happened 10 years ago, you know, uh, Freddy Villanueva had no criminal record. He was not associated with any gang activities. He was just going to school, doing his business, respected by his whole community. And the fact that we want to erase his mem mem memory is very significant for us because what it tells is that, you know, the stigma that people, the youth have in Montreal North right now, the stigma that, that they have is that when you think about the youth in Montreal North, you think that they're gang activities, they're related with gangs, uh, they're people that will cause some trouble and stuff like that. And this is the image that we have of Freddy Villanueva nowadays, and this is completely false. Unfortunately, uh, Freddy Villanueva is not alive to restore his image, but we have a duty to make sure that, you know, his image is restored. And when there was the coroner's inquest also that lasted for over three years, uh, what the coroner mentioned is that, you know, Freddy Villanueva should have been alive. He never touched any police officer. He should not have been shot and killed by the police officer at that time. So that was what came out of that inquest. So what we're saying is that, you know, it's important for us to have a place to grieve uh, the image of Freddy Villanueva for the family, for the community, so we can have a community therapy. And I think it's going to help all of us because Freddy Villanueva will always be associated with Montreal North. But what happened to Freddy Villanueva raised also lots of question about racial profiling in Montreal, not just Montreal North, mm -hmm. but it also created the new uh, independent Bureau of Investigation. So police stopped investigating police. And that was created after the death of Freddy Villanueva. It's an important date to look back on. Will, thanks for joining us from Montreal today. Hey, thanks for having me.